Hey guys, Jamie here, Divinely Canadian Tarot. I'm here to do a reading for you guys for the sign of Pisces. And Pisces, as usual, messages may or may not resonate during the reading. Keep the ones that resonate and leave the ones that don't, otherwise it can get confusing. And cards in the reverse, I read intuitively, and I will provide you the messages I receive from Spirit Guides. We are starting off with a Spirit of the Animal Oracle to get to the ambiance for your reading. We've got dolphin to play. You're not getting enough fun in your life, are you? So we've got swim in the happy joy of living. Inhale confidence. Exhale fear. Okay, dive into your wisdom. Go with the flow. Beautiful. Okay, so uh, now we are going to get uh, messages from our angels for you. And let's see what do you guys need to hear, Pisces. Messages from our angels for the sign of Pisces. Spirit guides. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What messages do they need to hear? We've got Rochelle. Rochelle, Rochelle. <laughs> From uh, Minx to Milan. <laughs> I think that's the one from Seinfeld, you know, the video. Anyway, <laughs> that episode was funny. If you're not a Seinfeld fan, I'm sorry. We've got Rochelle here. So uh, as you honor and follow the guidance of your heart, prosperity is coming to you now. Love that. And we've got Teresa. Time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to take care of you, yourself. And Caressa, you are at the end of a life cycle. Uh, call upon your angels to comfort you and guide you to the next step. Happiness awaits you and now. Okay. Yes, please. Okay, those are beautiful messages. Now we're going to get uh, a spiritual uh, AF message. Then we're going to roll the dice and uh, see if we can uh, confirm who you're dealing with and then get right into the reading. Let's see, Pisces, who you uh, who you could be dealing with. We're going to find that out in a minute. Let's see what message you need to hear. So meditation. If you don't know how to meditate, a.k.a. shutting the F up for a few minutes. Lots of people say they don't know how to meditate. You're no longer allowed to be one of them. Shut up for a few minutes. See what happens. Yep. That's what the Buddha did. Then do it some more. There you go. Now we're going to roll the dice. They have every letter of the alphabet on them, including four wild. I'm going to keep rolling until they have five different letters. Could confirm your person's first name, last name, your initials, their initials, really whatever helps you identify who you're dealing with. First letter is U. And L. R. B, K. Well, there you go. That spells bulk, B-U-L-K. <laughs> okay, let's see uh, what sun sign or element you could be dealing with that's most prominent for your reading Pisces. What element or sun sign confirms who Pisces is dealing with? Well, we've got a Virgo. So I uh, could be dealing with a Virgo. Integrity, rev rev reverence, reverence, and service. I'll be honest, I don't know what rev reverence means. I would have to look it up right now. Je parle français, là. Je suis correct, là. Sorry, I, I'm, uh, I'm um, you know, my first language is French. You wouldn't be able to tell. I, for some reason, don't have an accent. But uh, anyway, let's move on, Pisces. Let's see what your energies are. And remember that my readings are timeless. Could have happened already. Could be happening right now or could happen in your future. So just keep that in mind during the reading, okay? As well as vice versa. I could say this is you here, but you feel like your person's here and you're over there. That works just fine, Pisces. All right. First energy we get here is the uh, Six of Swords. Are you holding on to drama, conflict, what happened, how it happened, how sad it made you, how depressed you are, and how you need to tell everybody over and over again what happened? 
Even yourself. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you're moving forward in life, but uh, in the slowest motion possible. Because you're staying in these dark energies. Mm, Pisces, Page of Swords. It always feels like somebody's watching me. Oh, you could be finding out something soon. Some sort of information. Mm, five of Swords. Uh, uh. This is defeat, deceit, somebody pulling a fast one behind your back, hoping you don't notice, you know? Deceptive energy. Mm -hmm. And then lastly, but leastly, are you effing kidding me? Not only do we have the terrible five of swords, we got the seven of swords, the lying, the cheating, the stealing energy. So uh, what the F is going on here? I feel like you dealt with uh, some really uh, horrible situation here. So Six of Swords, needing to let go of this drama, this conflict, and uh, move forward in your life. But I feel like all you think about is this nasty thing you're dealing with. And look at that Queen of Wands. You're usually somebody who's very bold, confident, assertive, and uh, you don't let anybody or anything, you know, deter you. But uh, you're feeling really heavy energies right now. The Hangman. Well, I feel like you've self-sacrificed far too much of yourself in your life that it's uh, it's feeling heavy right now. And uh, we did have this energy where it says, um, yeah, right here, time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to care for yourself. I'm really feeling this very heavy here. And three of pentacles. You're somebody who loves to help. You love to be, you know, um, a team player. You, uh, you take value in uh, partnership and sharing and balance and things like that. But I feel like people are taking advantage of your generosity, taking advantage of things that you do for them that they can't do for themselves. And you feel like you're, they're just using you for whatever it is that they need help with. Wow. Yeah. Knight of Swords, narcissistic, selfish, you know, an energy that doesn't deserve whatever it is you're helping them with. And whatever this is, I feel like is deterring you from moving forward. Are you dealing with a Virgo? Isn't that what we had here? Virgo. And this is Virgo Taurus Capricorn energy. The King of Pentacles. But uh, yeah, okay. Two of Pentacles. Did you find out that you were, they were juggling you somehow? Hmm. Is this person already in a committed relationship? And was just... Pretending they were single. Page of Swords. My, oh my. I'm really feeling that. Five of Cups is uh, depression, sadness, disappointment. Wow. Oh, mon Dieu, Caliste, Christy Bin. King of Pentacles definitely is in a long-term relationship already. Knight of Wands, they just used you. They just used you, and I feel like that's why you're feeling this way. Oh, my God. They used you and fuck, then left. Fudge de chocolat. Chocolate fudge <laughs> in French. This is uh, energies of abandonment, being ghosted, being dumped, being left at the curb like trash. You're not trash. Remember that. They are trash for doing that to you. Look, they lied to you. They deceived you. They did some nasty shit. To you oh lord love a duck five of swords mm, look at this what the fudge to chocolate six of swords six of swords this you're 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 like so confused i feel like that's you holding your head going like what the fuck happened like what, what happened what, what happened that's all they can give you page of pentacles can't give you more than that. You're like, how did I not see this? How did I not notice this? And now this is like weighing heavy on you. Ten of Wands. Carrying this heavy energy with you. Seven of Swords. Mm, let it go, man. It is not worth keeping around. Death is Scorpio energy and it's needing to uh, let go of what has happened and move into a new direction. You know, it's time for you, right? King of Swords. Well, it could be a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini uh, coming in. 
temperance, Sagittarius energy, perhaps uh, guardian angels are guiding this uh, new energy toward you. This person could be in a position of power, authority. They could be a police officer in the army, in the navy, in the marines. Okay, we're going to see your person's energies. Okay. Pisces person's energies, please, spirit guides. Pisces person's energies. Five of Cups, there's so much sadness in this reading. My goodness. Five of Cups is, you know, depression, sadness. Not seeing what you still have. Ace of Swords, well, well, this is a new beginning. Victory, success, communication, getting answers, seeing clear. The world, well, well, uh, this person's ready to uh, start a new chapter in their life. The chariot and the man, they're going to move with high speed. I know it's a snail, but it's a snail on wheels. <laughs> well, that means business. And there's even like, uh, you know, what do you call those things? They need a whip. <laughs> well, 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 who do we have here? The Knight of Swords again. Is that who they dealt with too? They dealt with a narcissistic energy as well and uh i feel like they're having a hard time moving forward too from this wow okay five of cups clarify that five of cups please why is the five of cups here for pisces person's energy is the king of wands at leo aries sagittarius could be a fire sign here that you're dealing with and we've got the seven of pentacles They've been looking at their life and they've been really uh, trying to make changes because they don't want to stay in that Five of Cups energy any longer. They're ready to move forward. Of course they are. Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. Ace of Swords, a new beginning. Yeah, I feel like they're ready to like yeah, snap out of this energy that they have been in. And Ace of Swords here. Clarify the Ace of Swords, Two of Wands. They're making a choice. They're making a choice to... Move out of these energies and move forward in their life. Scout of Wands. Oh my goodness. I feel like they're finally having fun in their life. I feel like they hadn't had fun in a long time and letting go of the sadness. Three of Cups. They've been spending time with friends. They've been regenerating. They. I feel like this is like a whole new world for them. Okay. A new chapter in their life. They're letting the past go and they're moving forward in their life. This is beautiful. And we've got the Three of Pentacles. This person is definitely a team player. Okay, this person, you're, you're uh, having your energies right now. It could be a, a Leo Aries Sagittarius. But look at that. They're, they've let the past go right out the window. They're done. They're done with feeling sorry for themselves. And uh, they're ready to move forward. And look, this Scout of Cups is Page of Cups. This is self-love. Or they're crushing on you, one or the other here. But, hmm. Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm feeling it's more self-love than anything. You know, they worked on their happiness and they're feeling really happy now. Three of Wands, I've been waiting. I feel like they've been waiting to move their life in a new direction. Waiting for a sign, waiting to figure out, you know, where is it they're going? Two of Pentacles, they want balance. They want balance in their life. They don't want to go in a direction that, that look... Two of Swords, they're waiting to make a, a decision for some reason. And um, once they make this decision, they are going to take off at high speeds. I mean, you've got the Knight of Swords here, and I'm feeling like that's a, a high speed because we've also got the Chariot here. So let's clarify that Knight of Swords. Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love, baby. Oh my, oh me. Okay, well, I feel like everything's starting to unfold for them, four pentacles, but they uh, they don't allow just anyone into their life, okay? Because they're very particular about who they share their time, their energy, their money, you know, all those things. They've, uh, you know, <laughs> they're very protective. Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is protecting your energy, standing your ground, but also choose your battles wisely, right? Is that energy? All right, let's see the energies between the both of you guys. 
So energy is said uh, between Pisces and who they are dealing with, spirit guides. And I do offer personal readings, guys. Just check out the description box down below. Click on more and uh, everything will pop up as well. Uh, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed because a lot of people have been getting unsubscribed and uh, share the reading with uh, anyone who you feel could use this. Yes. Oh, boy. Are you kidding me? The Ace of Cups again. Like this means something here. Ace of Cups, Ace of Cups. There's a new beginning in love. For sure coming your way. Wow. And I mean, look, they have an award for Pete's sake, okay? I feel like it's going to be an amazing new beginning. Knight of Blades. Uh, yeah, I feel like escaping the narcissistic energy. I mean, look at that. That looks like a real narcissist. And we've got the Five of Wands. Oh, my God. Love has been a battlefield, I feel, for the both of you. Mm-hmm. And the Ten of Wands, yeah, you're carrying that heavy burden, remember? Those heavy energies. And perhaps you're working a lot, you're not having fun, you haven't dated in a while, you've just, you know, gone through this situation that really left you feeling really uh, crappy. And, uh, you know, I mean, getting the Five and Seven of Swords here, it's, it's just like really heavy energies. Like whatever you dealt with was really nasty, feeling like abandoned alone. But just remember that this is somebody doing this to you, making you feel this way. This is not you and you know who you are. And don't let anybody make you feel like you are something different than what you are. OK, you're so much stronger than what you're realizing. Okay, those, uh, those energies uh, we're going to clarify now uh, for you and your person. The Ace of Cups. Clarify the Ace of Cups, please, Spirit Guys. Thank you. Balance coming into your life, guys. And this is Guardian Angel energy, right? I mean, look at the temperance here. Like, that's a beautiful uh, angel energy here. And this one is saying balance which I feel like is coming into both of your lives. And it says, my gosh, two energies merging together can generate an extraordinary connection, okay? And uh, yeah, that's what I'm feeling is about to happen to you guys. And look at this, the Knight of Water, the Knight of Cups, baby, baby. What does the horny toad say, Pisces? Rub it, rub it, rub it, rub it. <laughs> And look, man, it says a deeply emotional and probably romantic experience will sweep you off your feet. Cha-ching. Things can move very quickly during such whirlwind encounters. So stay balanced and make decisions with both your heart and your mind. OK, don't think with your uh, groin. Right. That always gets you in trouble. Right. Ace of fire. Wow. 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 A new beginning. With passion, desire. This is crazy. This is a wonderful new opportunity presents itself and may come as a surprise. But you will want to take a leap into it very passionately and pursue every possibility. Mm -mm. Knight of Blades. Uh, why is the Knight of Blades here, Spirit Gods? The Knight of Swords. I mean, here, here. They're like right next to each other. Ace of Air, the truth, baby. The truth, Sal, Sal, shall set you free. Sorry, I told you I bit my tongue before, or maybe I didn't yet, but yeah, I bit my tongue. So I got a bit of a lisp sometimes. <laughs> Four of Earth. Being very particular about who they spend their time, their energy, their money. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person sees clearly now, and they can spot narcissistic energies from Miles renewal because i feel like they went through a major transformation so i'm feeling like that night of air is what your person has gone through and dealt with and conquered right because it, the renewal is judgment energy and uh, judgment is like the uh, the dead rising from their coffin leaving their old life behind and rising like a phoenix into a new beginning and it says it's time to get clarity about your life purpose and make changes to know that you're on the path most divinely suited for you and you need to forgive without judgment anything that has taken place in your life and fearlessly embrace what's to come 
Wow, that's some good advice, because if you hold on to this, you know, you won't have any more hair left. I mean, look, I mean, you're, you're yanking that stuff out like it's, uh, you know, <laughs> not important. Lovers in a dangerous time. You know, um, don't fight this. Don't fight this connection. I feel like that's what's going on here. You feel like every connection is a battle and you need to keep everybody away from you. But I'm feeling like this is going to be uh, quite the connection, okay? You guys are a couple of flamingos there. And look, one of the... Uh, well, both legs are up when you guys uh, touch uh, heads, right? It says, true and long-lasting love finds its way into your life. Follow your heart with caring actions and choices, right? Are you for real? And look at this. Oh, my goodness. The four fire and like, come on, we got some flamingos, some otters. Look at the love. Uh, there's so much love here, guys. Oh, my. So uh, it's time to kick back, relax and celebrate uh, with that one that you love and enjoy a very happy home life. And then you've got the king of air. Isn't that crazy? Because we've got the king of swords here. Showing here that this could be a Libra requires Gemini coming into your life. So it could very well be. Okay. And this says, uh, it's very important that you communicate everything that you uh, want if, and clearly in your life and uh, be objective and unemotional and be as professional as you can. So I feel like that's what this person is like. They're very, very professional in their life. So, like I said, they could be a police officer in the Army, in the Navy, in the Marines, you know, a profession that you have to be very, like, serious at and very alpha energy, alpha male, alpha female, you know, uh, an energy of power, um, somebody who wants to, you know, be in charge with, like, everything that goes on, you know, mm, and that could drive you nuts. <laughs> so, I don't know if that's something you like, but... I get you are very independent, so uh, Pisces, I don't know about that. So, Ten of Wands here, let's clarify that. Are you kidding me? Ten of Wands, clarifying the Ten of Wands. Doesn't he look like the Neo Citroen uh, dog? <laughs> The, the Saint Bernard. So uh, you're working too hard and stress will soon become too much. Uh, you need to reach out for other people to help you in your life so that you can have some fun. And I did say that you were lacking fun. I know I did. And if I didn't, well, you are. Okay, so we've got the three of pentacles. I feel like your partner is here. The person that you are meant to be with is here. And I feel like you're going to miss it if you're just all like, um, you know, overanalyze everything to uh, the point of no return, right? And uh, it says here, your uh, most satisfying and profitable career comes from following your passion, listening to your heart and doing what you enjoy the most. Okay, your life purpose is best fulfilled by allowing your talents and true self to shine forth into the world. And justice. And look at that. Look at all the stars, okay, above that uh, elephant. And the scale here. I feel like there is going to be some balance coming into your life, right? And I see balance here with the temperance. And uh, Lib this is Libra energy, and those are the scales of balance, <laughs> And this says a fair decision will be made after all the evidence is reviewed impartially. Have compassion for others. Try to see the uh, side of every um, situation. Okay. And don't try not to feed disagreements as well. So, I mean, that's what I mean. Like choose your battles wisely is kind of what I was getting there. So uh, now we're going to roll the, uh, the dice here. Just one sec. Uh, not roll the dice. I just need a drink. All right, uh, so we're going to get you a soulmate card here. And uh, so close your eyes, Pisces. Whether you are in a relationship or not, focus on your soulmate. Simply breathe, relax, feel their presence. Feel your heart being filled with soft pink light. And when I read the energy to you, allow the words that I read to resonate within your heart center. You know, I feel like your energies are just so crazy heavy right now. Like you've gone through a lot and I feel like you fell really hard for someone who is already perhaps uh, in a relationship or in a deeper connection with someone else. And they just kind of 
abandoned you and left you because they made their choice, but they didn't bother telling you uh, that you weren't the one. And that sucks. Like people are just uh, cowards sometimes where they just feel the need to uh, not take that time to explain to someone the reason why, you know, they are not going to be around anymore, you know, because I chose someone else. I was dating two people or three or four or whatever, and I made my choice. I don't understand why people cannot be honest, but it's easier to just disappear like a fart in the wind right like don't have any consequences that way but if you run into each other in public (laughs) you better go run and hide (laughs) if you were the one who ghosted right oh my goodness i didn't even see this but look a new love is coming your way yet in order for this to manifest you must first Release the past, which is what we've been preaching about here, right, uh, Pisces? Are you ready to let go of the past? All it takes is a conscious desire to do so. Okay? You have to want it. And if you don't want it, no one can really help you because you are the one who needs to take that step, right? So now let's see what we've got for a, a healing oracle for you guys. Healing Oracle. What does Pisces need to hear, Spirit Guides? What does Pisces... Okay, we'll we'll take both of them. Oh, wow. Because here and now, in goodness, you got... The future doesn't exist and the past is gone. I focus on the present moment. I have confidence in life again. Because here and now, there's no danger and everything happens when my soul is ready. Love it. And then we got goodness. I refine my character and overcome difficulties by remaining positive. Uh, I calm my heart and illuminate my intellect and transform shadow into light. I consciously manifest in and goodness in and around me. And I prove my qualities for the benefit of all. Yeah, for you and everyone else you surround yourself in. Because you know what? Energies are like... um, magnets you know and sometimes if you're uh, around bad negative energies you can feel that you can sense that you're in an energy where there's just a lot of negativity you could like sometimes cut tension with a knife you know that that saying and uh you know when uh, you uh, realize that then you know it's uh it's a heavy energy to be around and then when you start to be able to um what do you call it um pinpoint when it's happening you know it's like easier for you to understand what's happening but i feel like uh, whatever you did had nothing to do with you it has everything to do with them and you've self-sacrificed enough of yourself okay pisces that i feel like it's your time to shine and your time to uh I mean, even says here, time out. You've been so busy taking care of everyone else's needs, but now it's time to take care of yourself. And I feel like you haven't done that in a really long time. And I believe that being a Pisces. Okay, you guys are so loving, caring, nurturing, and you forget yourselves. And uh, you sometimes don't even see it until it really takes a toll on you, which I feel is what happened to you. So... Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this reading and got some uh, direction. And uh, don't forget to thumbs it up, subscribe, uh, because people have been getting unsubscribed for some reason. So double check that and uh, make sure you share the reading with anyone who you feel could use uh, these messages. Right. So uh, thanks for joining me. You guys mean more to me than you guys know. And uh, thank you. I'd be nothing without you guys. So uh, have a great morning, night, evening, afternoon and happy holidays to you guys. I know they're coming soon. So I hope you guys have a a good uh, time and I will surely see you before that that happens. So uh, take care, guys. Love you.